Hey guys, welcome to this Unreal Engine video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up like a live stream or event inside your Unreal Engine um, with pixel streaming made by Epic Games. So the way that this works is basically, so um, everything will be run on your computer. So if someone connects to your live stream in a state like miles away, it's still technically running on your computer. And the, and they can even use the cool thing about this as opposed to like a normal live stream is the people can have input in it so let's say there's a button right here people can press that who are in your stream so it's basically like a live um, event in your unreal engine game and this could also be useful if you're doing for say um, like your game and you want to make a big change in your game and you want to make like a big explosion something explode you could do a live stream of that and it would just it would be happening to everyone at the exact same time no matter what and it would just be cool and instead of doing like a YouTube live stream you could do it better this way because it could be just directly in your game instead of having to do like a external video and also it could be good because it happens exactly at the same time for everyone and as I said before they can have input so you can make it so that people can look around you can make it so that they can touch buttons um, over here and um, yeah so what I did to just make this was, uh, this is just going to be my very simple um, pixel streaming thing. So when people join it, um, there's this is the live event of mine. And I'm just actually going to make something real quick. So um, uh, I'm going to just say, um, I'm going to make this repeat every two seconds. So event begin play, delay, uh, delay, delay for two seconds or maybe three seconds I don't know yeah it sounds good and then we'll say I'm um, open level and this level is called map I think with a not capital M okay and then compile that save okay so now it should just ha rehappen every two seconds or three seconds yeah as you can see so uh, if you look carefully you'll see that it's doing very similar things every time but see that was slightly different so each time there can be things that are happen differently and see that time it rolled towards th this block um, right here this one seems to be doing different things each time see that time it rolled off the back so if people are using the pixel streaming thing it'll happen exactly the same for everyone no matter what and that's pretty cool because it's actually just joining the same game for everyone so um, this is going to be my game that I use for my pixel streaming. So, the way I made this is again, I did this. It's just opening my level every two seconds. And also, I made a player by right clicking Blueprint Class Player or Character. And then um, I went to the world settings and changed the game mode to this one at the bottom. It's usually at the bottom. And then it lets you customize this to your player that you made and then when to, if you make a player and you don't do anything to your player and you set this as your custom player then when you start it you won't be able to move around or anything so this is just a still camera and it'll just be this is just basically going to be a live stream with no user input you can do user input with pixel streaming though so let's say you want people to vote on what you how many on on like what you want your game to do you can do that you can just make a button that says like vote for this vote for this vote for this vote for this and then when the person presses this button a variable goes up by one and whichever one is the highest that event happens and now you don't need to do anything special for pixel streaming to do that because again it's like it's running on one machine even though it's running on multiple machines so that's cool um, so once you have your simple like thing that you want to stream to people um, which for mine is just going to be blocks dropping at the exact same time for everyone. Um, go edit plugins and go to uh, graphics and go to maybe it's not oh yeah I'm not on graphics um, graphics pixel streaming enable that hit yes restart now and then you'll need to restart your engine once your engine loads and it's enabled you'll see it in the graphics section here again pixel streaming enabled it's still a beta version in 4.25 which is what I'm using right now um, so yeah that's basically the first thing you need to do then you need to go edit editor preferences then under editor level press play and then scroll down till you'll see um, 
animation launch preferences and this should be blank for you and you'll just need to paste in the text that I'll have at the very top of the description um, it'll say like paste this in the paste this for the Unreal Engine or whatever um, yeah you just need to paste all that in here and then it will work fine okay close that and now you just need to package your project for Windows so select this and select folder and I'll pause come back when it's done okay once it's done downloading you can just uh, whoa what's happening I don't know <laughs> okay uh, weird anyway once it's done exporting you can just go to your folder where you downloaded it or where you exported it to which for me will be right here and then Oops, I'll delete this because I did that earlier. So you need to select your folder, your um, .exe file, and hit Alt and drag at the same time. And then you have to release them both at the exact same time. So hit Alt, drag, and then release them at the same time. It's a little difficult. But yeah, if you release your mouse and your Alt key at the exact same time, it'll work. And then you need to right click this and hit properties and then in the properties you're going to paste in the same thing that you pasted to the other one except you want to keep everything else there you just want to add it to the end after you hit space so after this quote hit space and then paste everything else in hit ok and now if what we need to do is I'll open up a new window of file explorer um, and then I'm going to go to Unreal Engine 4.25 because that's the version I'm using. It should work the similar in future versions, I think. Uh, go to Engine, uh, Source, Programs, Pixel Streaming, Web Servers, this, and scroll down to, so yeah, go to this file right here, and then go run.bat, and so this will just start our server up and yeah if we look at that you see there's three green lines here and now if we use the shortcut file here you have to use the shortcut file uh, you'll see that we have yeah it'll just keep going every two seconds and now if we go to our here you see they added a fourth one it says it's connected cool that's what we want alright now that means our server is ready so anyone can join this game here and what they'll see is exactly the same if they're on a web browser and anything they're just joining into my game and they're basically spectating so to do this um, I mean like to get your game running what you'll need to do is go to the link I'll have in the description which is um, I'm just getting it from over here I need to copy it so it will be uh, Hold on. This is going to be the same link for anyone, but you'll need to make sure you have your server and your um, game running before you can enter this. And then once you enter this IP address here, it'll work because it's your local IP. And then hit allow access for this and play. And boom. You'll see. This is happening exactly the same as on the screen. So you can do this with different devices actually now. So to do this, what you'll need to do is go into your um, your, your command prompt. So open up command prompt. And so I believe just if you do this, it'll open a new window. Yeah. And then I believe what you do, uh, it is... Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just reading the Unreal Engine thing here. Oh yeah, okay. It's IP config, and you'll want to go to the line that says IP IPv4 address and copy this and now if you send this IPF i4 address um, to anyone uh, in your in your house 
who's on your same Wi-Fi network, they'll be able to access your game. And so you should, you could just use this instead of your other one on your own computer, even if you wanted to. So let me look. Um, in my Chrome tab, I have my game here. So let me close out of this, and then I'm gonna go into my uh, new window here, and I'm just gonna paste my um, my local IP address, and then I'll be able to get it. And so you can do this again. You'll just need to go into your command prompt and get your the line that says um, IPv4 address and paste that in. Uh, so yeah. And when again when you paste that in in Google Chrome, you'll get your game working just fine. And if you send this to multiple devices, it'll work on a phone, it'll work on a tablet. And another way, another thing that you could actually do with this is if you wanted to test your game on a mobile phone and you don't have like the Apple license or whatever, you can send this link to it and don't, and if you just have a full game here and you set it up with pixel streaming and you give the link to your iPhone, you'll be able to play your game on your phone. So this is pretty cool. This is just a live stream of whatever's happening in my Unreal Engine. I hope you like this video. I hope you can do more complex things with it, but this is just a really simple pixel streaming. Make sure to leave suggestions for future videos in the comments of this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye.